Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's look at this problem right here. This question is asking an LRC series circuit has R is equal to 15 ohm, L is equal to 25 millihenries, and C is equal to 30 microfarad. The circuit is connected to a 120 voltage RMS AC source with frequency 200 hertz. What is the RMS voltage across the inductor? Okay. Now, to find the RMS voltage across the inductor, we have to use this equation. That is, let's say RMS voltage is VL. That is equal to I RMS times the XL. Okay. And we know that XL is given by omega L. So that's not a problem because we know, we know that omega is equal to 2 phi F. We have the frequency that's provided. And L is inductance. So we can, uh, that's also provided here. So we can find that one out. Now let's see how to find this I RMS. To find I RMS, we have to use this equation. I RMS is equal to V RMS over impedance okay to find uh, v, vrms is already given in the question that is 120 voltage rms so we have this one 120 okay and we had to find the impedance to find the impedance we had to use the impedance equation that is square root of r square plus omega actually xl reactance of the inductor minus reactance of the capacitor square so this is the equation for impedance now let's plug all the values to calculate impedance we have the resistance that is given by 15 ohm 15 square plus xl that is reactance of the inductance now to find that one we have to use omega l but we don't have the omega omega is the angular frequency but we don't have that one we can replace that one with 2 phi f okay that's what we are going to do because we have the frequency so we can calculate this omega using that so instead of writing omega l i'm going to write 2 phi f l and uh, instead of and we know for x c the equation is 1 over omega c instead of writing like that we can write it like 1 over 2 phi f c okay because we don't have the omega we have to use frequency to find the omega so this is going to be 1 over 2 phi f c square and all you all we have to do is just plug the values and find the answer here 15 square is going to be 225 and then 2 phi fl 2 phi times the frequency that is 200 200 times the inductance that is 25 millihenries so 25 times 10 to the power minus 3 henries minus 1 over 1 over 2 phi times the frequency that is 200 times the capacitance that is given by 30 microfarad so 30 times 10 to the power of minus 6 farad and if you calculate this one you will get impedance is equal to and if you simplify everything you will get 248.91 and if you square root that one that's going to give you 15.78 so this is our impedance value now we, we are going to use this impedance to find out the IRMS that's our purpose so we divide this 120 div with 15.78 and if you do that you will get 15.78 that's going to give you 7.60 so this is our IRMS now we, we are finding IRMS because we are going to use this equation IRMS times XL and IRMS is 7.60 and XL is we found out here if you simplify this one and solve for this one you will get 31.42 and if you solve this one you will get 26.53 and also I forgot to square this one you have to square this one right after you find this one you have to square it and here we have 31.42 for reactance of inductance inductive reactance and this is capacitive reactance but for this one we have to know inductive reactance okay now inductive reactance is 31.42 that's what we, that's the one we are going to use here if you multiply this one with 31.42 that's going to give you 200 and okay let me multiply 238.94 238.94 and in three significant figures that's going to be just 239 and that's our final answer 239 voltage and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching